Welcome back to Let's Play Fauna Sphere. We're going to do part two of our conversations with Crystal. Let's see what's going on. Crystal's gobbling egg boosters like crazy. But what is that squeaky toy noise? Do the grabbers make that squeaky toy noise? Crystal says yes. <laughs> Alrighty then. It's really hard to zap and type at the same time. But I can't resist saying, don't eat too many. <laughs> oh, an annoying thing is these boxes that show our den and food levels. Sometimes they block out what people are saying to me. But we waited for Crystal to get down here and we're all zapping at the same time. Now, I think if you get to 100% on your boosters that you're going to bottom out and you get no egg point boosts. get down to the bottom. Oh, and look! Cupid Love is still here. Find out what they have to say. Nothing, because sometimes people are in such a hurry to get back up and regoal that all conversation stops and waits until you get back up to where the first filey generates itself. So we'll run up, get the goal. Now these egg boosters are a Facebook addition to the game. Since they teamed up with Facebook, it's like a special thing that you can get by being a Facebook member. But a lot of people are really good caretakers in this game, and they will share them, leave them in your totem, or you can go to the market and buy them. And Purple wants to know, why eat more than one booster at a time? And Crystal isn't sure. She says she's getting 100% faster points. Well, it's my understanding that each one you eat brings the egg point boost up by 50% of the previous one. And as you can see, I'm busy in thought here about the whole thing, and they're off zapping. But they are good team members, and they've stepped aside from the Viley to wait for me. Purple Logic says she's getting 99.9% .9 on just one boost. And Crystal's a little uh, shocked by that, as well as I am. And I'm thinking that might be a glitch. The same way shooting the eyed vileys, like here's a two-eyed viley, or I mean a six-eyed viley with two antennas, is supposedly keeping your happiness level up. And if we look down, we will see that my food level has definitely gone down and isn't at the top part that it can be in. So, I'm not going to get maximum points off this trashy. So, I think it's a glitch. And we need to hold on to that glitch and make the most of it. Uh, by the time this is in production, that glitch is going to be fixed. I am very sure. And now, since I've noticed that I'm down on food, and since I'm just in the habit of denning up, I'm going to let them know that I've got to go to the den, and I'll be right back. So we'll jump to the den and jump back to purple. And of course, now I have no idea what's going on. What did I miss? And purple's saying, I guess I should turn in a smooth stone to take advantage of that glitch and the points that she's getting off one egg boost. And 
and I think she should too. The smooth stones are few and far between, but when you've got one, you get a lot of points for it. And if you've got an egg boost that's almost doubling the amount of points, uh, that would be the opportune time to take advantage of that. So we're going to zoom down to the bottom. Oh, did you see that? Cupid just disappeared. Oh no, Cupid perished. That's so sad. We tried to save her from the pollution. You never know how you're going to end up down in the gulch as a sentry like that. Uh, we call him a sentry anyway. We lost our sentry. See, purple does too. You could be kicked off the server at Faunosphere. Your computer could crash. Your house could catch on fire. A flood could come through. There's all sorts of reasons you might be trapped out in the wilderness somewhere. Zoom back up here. Purple, yoo-hoo, where are you? Oh, there's Shadow Whisper. And we're definitely letting her take advantage of her glitch with the points. And this polar bear is getting more levels than I was planning. You know, in my opinion, the gulch is still the best. Now, Crystal wants to know, have we tried Monty? Monty is the name we have affectionately given to the pollution monster in the tribal, or the, oh, where is it? It's in the amphitheater, forest amphitheater. And we've tried it often. And I usually go there when I'm feeling antisocial. <laughs> well, Monty is really something that's meant to be played alone. And you have, if you take your high-level fauna in there, you really can get a lot of lux and a lot of egg points. If you take a lower-level one in there, you won't be able to knock out as many blocks at a time, which gives you a bonus compared to just hitting one block at a time. So you want to kind of set them up like Tetris or something like that and see how many you can get all lined up, like there's two right there lined up, so you would get a bonus for that. So Monty is uh, kind of a, a good way to level up, especially if you can't find anybody in here to play in the gulch, which is still my favorite. A lot of people do use Monty to level, though. They find that there was too much fighting and arguing uh, happening in the gulch, or that it took too long for the Vileys to regenerate. So they do prefer Monty. Crystal says, I was working with a Tusker with Monty once. Well, you know what? That's kind of a glitch too. Occasionally when there are so many people on Faunasphere playing at the same time, they will end up in the same instance of Monty, whereas originally I think it was set up so only one could get into Monty at a time. I've seen it happen. Most people do not want to share when they get into Monty. So I think Crystal's very cooperative, and so was that Tusker she was in there working with. We've really made.
made some progress today. And Crystal has been an excellent team member. Hopefully you've picked up some hints from us today on some different aspects of gameplay and cooperation. Thank you, Crystal. I'm glad Crystal could join us. And if you want to see Purple Logic get the gold collar, we had just a few episodes ready to produce when she got that gold collar and we rushed into production with it. But you can watch some of our other videos if you would like to see. And Crystal says, okay, see yous, I've got to get going now. So we'll see you again next time on Let's Play Faunasphere.